Alright, uh, hi and welcome back to the second episode of SimCity 4 mod highlights. So yeah, this mod is rather unique and has a really specific use case. And before we jump into the mod, let me show you the use case that I'm trying to solve with this mod. So uh, yeah, as you can see here, uh, we have this small rural town that I built previously on my stream. Uh, we have this area. Uh, these two areas here uh, separated by a uh, river that I built with uh, flowable waters. So, yeah, we have a bridge here, but this is actually just a cosmetic bridge and it's non functional, so there's no traffic across this bridge. Uh, the only traffic that connects these two areas is uh, from these railways, so from this train here. And I am trying to build a bridge uh, to connect these two areas, uh, a street bridge actually. Uh, but as you already know, uh, you can build a bridge in land in SimCity 4. So there's no way for you to build a bridge in vanilla game without a uh, water. As you can see here, when I'm trying to connect this to uh, yeah, with a street, the, this will just build a normal street. There's no you can you can build a bridge here, at least without a water. So this is where this mod come in handy. Uh, this is Teirusu Rensul by Teirusu, and this mod will allow you to spawn uh, rain in your tile using uh, God mode. You can collect the water from the rain, and it will allow you to build an inland bridge. So let me show you how to do it. Okay, as you can see here, uh, we have this area, and I want to bridge to build a bridge here. So we need to collect the water around this area. And to do that, let's make uh, some kind of bowl to collect the water. So yeah, this this should do. As you can see here, uh, I've already kind of prepared this uh, before this video, so it's a little bit a uh, small bowl here, um, and you, we can we probably need to up this area too. So yeah, this will act like a bowl to collect the water from the rain. And using the guard mode, uh, yeah, from the if you already on the Meyer menu, uh, you can access the guard mode uh, based yes, uh, you can access the Terraform guard mode uh, by just clicking this one. So you need to go to Meyer menu first and then using Control, Save, and All uh, and click the guard mode, then this will open this Terraform function. So you can access the rain tool here in this level terrain. So yeah, let's level terrain, and this is the rain tool that I mentioned. Okay, so yeah, this is uh, where you want to drop the rain. Let's try to drop it here. And as you can see, uh, we already collect the water, and using this water, we can actually build a bridge. Yeah, this game will allow to build a bridge using the water. As you can see, this is this is a bridge that we can build using this water. And yeah, I go using this tool because uh, I want to use this specific bridge in my uh, rural town because the aesthetic just fit perfectly uh, with the overall styles of the town. So up and here we go we have a bridge uh, inland bridge and let's build a bridge too for this track let's see maybe i need to do this one first all right so i just need to adjust the level of this uh, land first and then we can build a bridge across this water and as you can see here uh, with this bridge we can have optional style of the bridge 
and I want to have this. Not this one, maybe this one. Yeah, this kind of uh, wooden bridge for my railways. Uh, so it. And yeah, here uh, we have our bridge. And the question next is, uh, how do we get rid of this water? Because we don't want this water here. So to get rid of this water, it's easy. We just need to save the game, exit to the region. So save and exit to the region. Uh, and then after we come back to the region, region, region. And as you can see here, uh, the water is gone after you reload the tile. But you still have these two fully functional bridge that connect these two areas here. So yeah, that's it about this mod. Uh, just few notes. Uh, when you try to use this mod, I suggest you to always save your progress first. Because if you are not carefully using it, you might destroy some of your uh, city area. So yeah, I suggest you to always save first before you using it. And yeah, I guess that's it for this uh, episode. Uh, link to the page of the mod will be available on the description of this video. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. And bye-bye.